Welcome back to Control, guys. Uh, this time we'll be going to search for the slide projector in Dimensional Research, which is in a place called the Ashtray Maze, which is one of the coolest bits of this game. So where are we looking for? Dimensional Research, which um, I think might actually be further up. take out two people by throwing a big fat guy at them. That's what I call good shit. Right. Yes, because now we can get to dimensional research this way. We can't actually get through here. But that's a good thing, because that gives us an excuse to go to maintenance, where we might be able to get some stuff to upgrade our grip gun, the kind of default pistol gun, because this is the only place you can get this stuff. I'm going to assume there is more stuff for us to do. Director Faden. Yes, hello. That's my name. No one in here. I can't quite remember how to get to the janitor's office. I think I need to go through ventilation, actually. Which would be up. Uh, which is actually probably back up where I came. It's probably going to be quicker. Let me suggest. Fast travel up to the upper part again. So I'm fairly certain. Uh, I should have just fast travel to ventilation, obviously. Right, so the giant stops is this way. Oh, there's two of them. It's a good job they don't heal each other. So otherwise that would be extremely annoying. Oh, it's one of the Ranger buddies that we needed to needed to get. That's pleasant little use of that time. We never went in here because we didn't have level two clearance at the time. It's the break room. 
Is this another threshold case? Or have we already watched this one? We had not seen this one. My goodness, we missed some stuff. Hey, Ben! What are you drawing? I'm drawing a dog! I'm drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The Black Pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white. And never find your way back home. I miss my home. That's just with the modem noises going on for no real reason. <laughs> right. Let's chance up this way, isn't it? Is he? Oh, we got a lot of side missions. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Daddy. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lobby lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. So, Artie, follow Artie's vision. Oh, hello, Mr. Enemy. Oh, he's a big boy. Whoa. I mean, do we just go across? We can't, well, we can't go in here. So this is the only place we can go. But I guess we're going over here. That's not working. Ah, that's where we need to go. Where the sun is. Where even are we going? Yeah, so now we're going into this random bit underneath the cooling pumps. anything we can build. Nope. Shit. What now? The mold's gotten in here too. Oh. Ow.
Wow. That was a quick death. I think I need to be better at, at a hide. Oh, needs to be better at hiding myself. I oh, know why this is right out here. It's those things that are really annoying. This is a pretty good sniper rifle now. Just wish it had more ammo. Or a way of getting... Let's see. Right, we got all those guys from the middle section. They, they're the hardest to deal with. Oh, so we're above the coolant place that we were in earlier. I wonder what speed running this game looks like. I wonder what kind of glitches people can have found to skip stuff. Oh dear. Ow. Okay. Something in that room. Sounds like the mold has been killed. Hats. I'm going to assume that's Artie on the radio. Oh. Interesting. Did I not pick that up? What? Didn't I just pick up the key? Do I need to... Do I need to go turn the radio on in here? That's weird. I swear I just picked up the key. It's not a key to... anywhere else. Can't turn that one off. Can't turn anything off in there or on. Oh, I did leave one on in here. I have to like turn them off. Was that? Oh, that gets me into the. Of course, it gets me into the janitor's closet, not the. This is what I get for not reading it. Okay. Let's claim this. So we're now back in the... In the quarry. Ooh. With a fun night sky. 
We need to get over there. These guys are a long way away. They don't seem to be particularly threatening. Always check behind the elevator before we take it. So we're going down into the restricted area. car over. these guys pretty easily. Gets it. Ow. Give me your give me your health pickups. Throw a forklift at him. There's another guy over here, wasn't there? Yes, there was. And the cable car's here anyway. Oh, we're not even allowed to jump while we're on the cable car. So Jesse's going to do some dancing. Can't do it the other way. I can do it left. I can't really do it right particularly well. Also, I'm pretty close to just dancing off the off the edge of that, which would be extremely embarrassing.
Oh my god. I pro I, there was a possibility I could have made this just by levitating. And like dodging in midair. Right, okay. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? Plastic tree supplements. Holiday memory tree. The results are incredible, more so the speed of discovery. This allows us AI 14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests we discovered that certain words are missing from its vocab. We begin we began isolating these words, cross referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. Found that these words, when arranged in a particular formation and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the exam hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. Wow, and we didn't get these. So the Victorian mirror item should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror in an oval in shape. The frame is made from ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notably is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect re reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simply mirror images. Some are redacted or some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a redacted distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Redacted has been observed in the test subjects and inside believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged expo exposure to the reflection is not advisable. And the letters, moving letters, black rock panelling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move a short distance at a pace of less than redacted and always in a redacted direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts. In fact, previously believed to be an impossibility by the Bureau. Uh, proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and follow their move into its final destination is under consideration. Items found in the Dead Letters archive at the Herd Archivist. Head Archivist? Found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. So there's a little, little camp going on here. So is this where Artie takes his holidays, perhaps? Sauna. Given that his Swedish roots, or possibly Swedish roots, is possibly not Swedish at all. Or Finnish, apparently. Did you miss me? Did you have fish in your song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. He'll get me through the maze, huh? Yeah, so we didn't actually spend time going through the ashtray maze. Let's just see what we can get for our three. Hmm. Let's do some season. So we didn't actually go through the ashtray maze, but. If we had tried, the rooms would have just continuously moved around um, and sent us basically back to the start because it is a paranatural space where you can't enter it, can't get through it unless you listen to the song. So I'm, I'm going to try and not talk too much during this song while I'm going through the Astro Maze because it's a lot of fun and I quite like the music as well.
Yeah, so that was the ashtray maze. I mean, it's... Like, now that I come to replay it, it's kind of, you know, pretty... Pretty stanza combat. But with the old God of Asgard's playing, it's, you know, really, really fun. So that gets us through into dimensional research, which is excellent. So the fact that RC can come and mop up here indicates he certainly has some kind of power. Here, you, me, Dylan, we've all come full circle. Awful lot of sand in here. There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Just on the other side. Okay, so Polaris herself, the, the spirit that's in our head, or whatever is in our head, seems to just be there. Let's go into the projector room. The projector's not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. It's a good question. What is Darling doing with the projector? The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. And Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it Color slide film, this side towards screen, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf, and radios don't work. Correction, a uh, resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Ooh. Is this additional or is this just the same one? This looks like the same thing. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Oh no, no, this is the expedition. Dylan's sister burned oh, no. in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side. But we know there's an additional slide somewhere. Because it was in the documents that we were looking at. Hedron containment. Hedron and the Hedron res resonance are arguably the greatest assets the Bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have redacted from the majority of Bureau employees. The report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron containment chamber, including details on the redacted being pumped into the containment cell mechanical upkeep of the resonance siphons and the arrangement of acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. For more information on proper operational procedures, an additional report is coming soon. 
There's something here. Yeah. Slide projector test. The slide projector only works for slide 36. Logically, this means the slide itself is part of the object of power or a distinct altered item. But of course, I had to make sure no other slides worked. I had to try. I thought maybe emotion had something to do with it. Connection, history, love. I bought in my parents' old slides, birthday parties, vacations to Niagara Falls, my first day of high school, that kind of thing. There were two boxes worth. I had to dig around the garage for an hour to find them. Never once thought of looking at them since they passed. I tried them all. I waited until all the staff left for the night, stayed up in the booth for hours, trying every one. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Projector off, slide out, slide in, projector on, nothing happens. Love wasn't the common factor. There's no correlation that I can see. Maybe the slide itself is an object of power. Maybe the projector is just an accessory. Maybe it doesn't matter. Why'd that fucking kid have to burn the other slides? Yes. Sorry about that. That we did that, but kind of felt I guess I mean, did we burn the other slides? Now does this just take us back down here? Did it not do anything? Okay. Up to the Pedron Resonance. There's something underneath us. Which Polaris wants. Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built Was a that you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming. That is a mostly naked Casper darling. Darling, and this, this is my final message. It's not the end. But after this, I won't, I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, it is, it's changing me. I, I see you. so much. Slidescape 36 was where Hedron stopped the spread of another. It's terrifying. It really is. It's another source. Resonance. Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything I can to stop the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him anymore. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. He's clearly not drunk or anything. Not having a good time of it. So the implication then is that Hedron is 
Polaris. And Hedron can stop the hiss. Because that's why the Hedron resonance amplifiers work. The implication is that Polaris either is Hedron or... Link to that. And we just opened it. Hi. I made it. Hedron is being attacked by the hiss. Or Polaris, as I say. I guess we're we're basically being we need to protect Polaris, but really what we're doing is letting Hedron out. Out, there's a guy behind me. Hedron is a being that was inside slide 36 in the slide projector. Oh dear, I think we should be going this way. Oh yeah, there's another one over there. And I see that hiss cluster. Oh no! No! God damn it. Come on. Go all the way bloody round again. just to get back to Hedron. Oh. Okay, at least I don't have to pull the door open again. Hopefully I don't have to redo all of these. No. Alright, let's get over here. Waste. How did he not die? I threw an explosive fucking barrel at him. There you go. Take a satellite dish to the face.
get the sniper out of the way. For a satellite dish at him. For an enemy at him. God, he didn't die from that. There we go. Couldn't throw some of his own projectiles back at him. I think rule of three should apply, so I think there'll probably be one more. It's okay. Oh. God, I thought I was going to have to do all that again. Right, unfortunately, I do have to climb all the way up again. Apologies about this. I guess if I'd spent more time doing some of the side missions that took place in maintenance, I would have been able to upgrade the grip, because it's a bit of a bummer that I haven't been able to, to be honest. I think I'd probably prefer the grip at this point to this piece, although this, like, gold attachment, which I think... Ow! Oh my god. Die. There we go. Well, I'm not going to go too far back there. I am going to come in here because... There's quite a lot of health here, which I'd quite like. Go more damage on this guy. There's another guy somewhere. Here? 
poster comes down and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello? Polaris, are you there? You are warm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls you know. Wow, okay. I didn't even realize that was going to be the end of the game. I don't, I, I'm sure I remember there being stuff after that. Um, I knew we were getting towards the end because of the, obviously meeting Polaris is the end. But yeah, so the implication there is that Polaris was never around, or is this actually the end? Yeah, or is this like a fake ending? Because these are all words that Dylan has said. I think they might have got me. Because the the implied implication there is that Polaris never existed and the Hiss just got Jesse. But Jesse would not be taken by the Hiss, we know that. Of yes, of course. I do remember this bit now. That being a fake ending. There's the new girl standing around daydreaming. She should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Yeah, all right, Emily. We need to tidy up the coffee cups. Deliver the mail. We're just a regular newbie here. You're late. Right away. Right away. You're dismissed. My pleasure. It's on the desk. I'll do it immediately. Yeah, so we're not the director in this part of our head. We're now just a lowly office girl doing office work. And it is tedious and monotonous. Then that is office work for you. to his office. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Oh, great. I was just waiting for you. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. What? What is this? Oh, 
is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone. Oh, now we got weird, deformed what people. Why won't it end? Wake up, please. I want to go I don't think there's a... I don't, don't remember if that's what we actually have to do. We actually have to, like, do it a minimum amount of times. There's Dylan. And everyone suddenly... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm delivering the mail. It's not, not like I think I'm hot shit because I'm delivering the mail. For goodness sake. We will, Artie. We need to go inside. We need to keep moving. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. This is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in. I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. None of this is real. Okay, there we go. Don't need to do any of that. Just take the director's mail again. I will fight this. I will find a way Come on, to Arty. Them out. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. <laughs> yes. I need my gun. You are a worm through time. The thunder saw storage you. Now we're going to shoot the director. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the Endgame. It will be revealed. A little bit on the nose calling it the end game, but sure. Oh, 
my darling's office. Well, we can't get through Central Executive that way. There's nothing in here. Ah. It's another entry point. Dead, I can't feel you. I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But we know that Hedron is not dead. Something I can feel it, but I don't know what. The moon. Grow brighter around one constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. Damn right we are. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. The whole world was dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She was always stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. We're going to turn off the projector and stop the hiss from coming in. I know he's still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know because that's how it was for me. Say level 30, but I don't think they are. The question is, can we skip everything? No, we do have to kill. That was my 1,000th hiss that I just killed.
Ah, oh, yes. Absolutely deleted him. Stop doing that, please. There you are. Ow! Good lord. Jeez. There's a lot of enemies here. That was a lot of enemies. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... ...and I. Wow, yeah. You know... Absolutely brilliant. Loved every second of that. It went super quick. That's probably the most I've played video games in like a concerted space of time for quite a while. Um, because I just kept wanting to come back to it. Like the game has really good flowing combat, a great story interesting characters like you know casper darling and um, jesse herself is really interesting you've got a lot going on never like certain exactly what polaris is but um yeah we are now the director of the federal bureau of control and that's that's that so other than like side missions um, and then there's the Foundation DLC, but I don't actually know how you get to do the Foundation DLC. Um, Shawshank Redemption. Ah. That's it. The Foundation that's talks to the, the board. The I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go talk to the board about the foundation, and then we'll. Even if it was a dream, I feel darling reached out to me through. The then we'll close off, and then we'll come back and do the foundation afterwards. Was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Yeah, so we're just gonna go find ourselves a little control point. Jesse Faden, director of the Federal of Control. I believe the nearest one is. I still don't quite believe. In it. Central Executive. You always knew where we were headed. Now got our director's suit, but frankly, I prefer the civilian suit. Um, got some ability points that I'll spend into. Don't know, bit C's. Let's get to C's. Um, yeah. So this series won't be over yet because. Um, we'll go and do the Foundation DLC after this, just to double check what's going on in the Foundation. But that's it for the main story um, of Control. Uh, as I said, thank you for watching that. Um, I absolutely had a com complete blast playing this game. It's really brilliant. Love the flow in the combat. Love the kind of sensation of it and the weight of it, as well as the world's really interesting characters are good the writing's good um i feel like this is also a bit less pretentious than alan wake and alan wake 2 which remedy is kind of known for being pretentious so um but this kind of dials that back a little bit um uh, by being set in a more kind of interesting world uh rather than it being about the act of telling stories and, and 
things like that. So, yeah, thank you so much. As I said, I'll be doing another probably two episodes uh, on that. And then other than that, it will just be me going around doing some side missions. So thanks for watching.